Call One FM. Time now for you to express your views on the air in Call One FM. Here's Peter Hamill. Hi, Peter. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Yep, I'm fine. I can't say you look so well, must I? <laughs> <laughs> Call us now on 071 637 4343. That's 071 637 4343. The subject today animals and justice. Hi, you're through to Call One FM. Who's on line 26? It's Atul Shah here. Yep. Basically, I'd like to say that uh, I do feel that animals have uh, feelings. Are you saying that animals have a sense of justice which is simpler and in some ways better than our own? Yes, yes, I do. Um, I mean, uh, but I think what's, what's happened with man is that we've become more sophisticated. And the more sophisticated we've become, the further away we've gone from what is natural. If I write it down, it is sophistication does not equal... It's that, that, like a British Rail sign, yes. does not equal good. Yes. What can we learn for our own sense of justice uh, from the animal world, and how can we apply it in the way that we seek to provide justice for ourselves? Um, uh, really, I think, you know, if, if you look at how animals um, rear their young... With a horse, when its uh, foal has just hatched, it's very, very, uh, very, very, very nice to it, isn't it? Mm. Mm-hmm. Or rear, anyway, yes. Yes. A horse, um, a horse rears. Sorry, what are you talking about exactly? Well, you know how they how they how they interact with their young. If they're mammals, it's tongues mainly, isn't it? Yes. What about birds? I think I think birds also have a, a very close bonding. You only have to look at some something like penguins who, who sit in the Arctic for six months, um, you know, with the egg on their feet, uh, waiting for it to hatch. Can you think of an example of penguin immorality which you would not expect the emperor or rockhopper to commit? Right. Well, uh, war, for example. Penguin war? Yeah. What would penguin war involve if it broke out? Um, sort of, you know, clump of penguins clubbing together to, to, to... Screaming towards each other, heads held low, across the ground. Yeah. Impolation and damage at yeah. the end of it. Yes. If you saw that, how would you feel? Oh, it would make me feel very sad. Thank you for calling Call 1FM. Your call has released a just dog. Thank you. Hello, line 140. Who's there? Yes, hello. I'm David Chilliston. And what's your point, please? Well, my point is uh, the animal attitude towards justice is that those who don't fit the um, species norm... The species who? The, the species norm. Yep. Peter, but yep. Yes, that's, uh, that's right. Uh, what, uh, what I'm saying is that the emulation of some animal um, justice characteristics... Uh, might help us uh, uh, to produce some order out of the chaos. Let me ask you this. We're pushed for time, but what animal characteristics would you like to see emulated in a courtroom? Um, Mountain gorilla? Uh, yes, in actual fact, the uh, gorilla community is, is very good. What sorts of mountain gorilla behaviour would you like to see brought into a courtroom? Oh, I the as aspect of intolerance of antisocial behaviour. That intolerance expressed by facial expression? Yes, uh, other physical posturing and, of course, the aggressive pose, the attempted broadening of the uh, uh, shoulders. Flaring of nostrils? Yes, it's as if to infer some imminent physical violence. What about the bounding from one region to another at high speed? Oh, yes. Yes. Would the move towards the mountain gorilla be a gradual thing? Yes. And it would, would have it to be, otherwise it would be unacceptable to the population. Your call has freed one just dog. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Thanks very much. Call. Four calls on your opinions on animals and justice FM. after this noise. FM. Call one FM. 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 Hello, this is Peter Hamill. You're through to Call 1FM. The subject today, animals and justice. If you have any comments to make at all on that subject, phone us now and put your opinions through to the air. Hello? Yes, hello, Paul. What's your point? You're talking about animals and justice. That's right, yeah. Mm, good. Well, animals can sense uh, right from wrong because um, they normally pick it up from their, their owners. So, are you saying that animals are sort of acting out a little play for us to follow? Well, it could be that way, yes, yes. And what animals do you think are best at doing that, acting out a little play for us to follow? Um, well, the dogs. The dogs are mainly uh, our pack animals, aren't they? So what percentage of your time would you say you need to spend watching the dogs? Uh, maybe 
15%. 15% of your time. And yeah. what percent of time do you think people spend watching the dogs at the moment? Uh, about, about 2%, I should think. And when you think of the injustice in the world, how does that make you feel, bearing in mind that people only spend 2% of their time watching the dogs? Well, I mean, it's, it's not good enough, is it? And when it comes to leaders of countries that perpetuate cruelty, how much time do you think they spend no. watching the dogs? Well, they, they don't spend any time, I shouldn't think. No time at all no watching the dogs? All, no. And would they need to go into some sort of remedial dog-watching class in order to catch up? And if so, how much time should they spend watching the dogs? Well, maybe 50% of their 50 time. 50% of their time. Yeah. So, if we're talking somebody like Pol Pot, think about what he did to people. Mm -hmm. How much time would you recommend he spent watching dogs? Pol Pot, about 90%. Thanks for calling. You'll okay. be glad to know that your call has freed a just dog. Oh, great, great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, Line 7. You're through to Call 1FM. Who's there? Katie Boyle. Katie Boyle. Listen, I'll thank you for calling now, just in case we get into an argument and I have to cut you off. Oh, <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. I think we'll probably agree. Absolutely. OK, what's your point? Oh, I've got so many points. Um, dogs, animals in general, but dogs in particular, we can learn so much from them. You can teach, for instance, mothers who won't discipline their children, who have no idea how to bring up a child. They should only watch a bitch with their, with their youngsters. Let me come in like a juggernaut here and say, are you suggesting that they could be used as an example in social work? Oh, yes, tremendously. And what Very about... much so. For instance, pet dogs, for instance, pets with, on therapy. A therapy is absolutely Pets fascinating. Pets therapy, yeah. Yes, they're wonderful in hospitals and watching them. I tell you what, Katie, what we're talking about here and what some of the other callers have mentioned too is Padge. Pets as jury. Oh, yes, very much so. They so, have an inborn sense of fairness. And if you were in court and the prosecuting lawyer brought in a dog and the dog reacted badly to the man in the dock, what decision would you make about the man in the dock? I'd, I'd be very wary of that man. So your, your, your ear would be cocked in the direction of the possibility that he was more wrong than right? Without a doubt. Let's be specific here. It would have to be a neutral dog. You'd have to have a neutral dog, But naturally. what sort of dog would be best at well, providing that diagnosis depends. in a court of law? I would have thought of a, a, a Rottweiler, a, a Doberman. So a good animal for pet as jury would be the Rottweiler, yep? Uh... Rottweiler, uh, Weimaraner uh, would be a very good one, and a Doberman would be a very good one, German Shepherd too. What about wild animals? Wild animals? Well, well, of course, the wolf. The wolf is a dog. Sure. Now, let's look at the rather sad issue of animals in war. Yeah, oh. What, what's uh, your feeling about that? Mm. I suppose that sums it up well. Well, Any... look what they've done. They've been heroes. They've been heroines in war. Yes. They but... have been totally uh, oblivious of any danger. Sometimes and... they've been tools. They have been total tools, mm. yes. I suppose we all are sometimes. Well, all of us are, yeah. yes. But, but that is it. That is a terrible thing. You can train a dog and you can, you can uh, bring out its salient points. But you can't stop I... it being a total tool. No, very no. not. All right, let me tap your opinion on a suggestion that a previous caller made that a snake containing a stick of dynamite should have been sent in to Saddam Hussein's bunker. Do you feel sorry for it? Yes. Stick a dynamite inside it. I hate to say I do, because that, ca uh, that snake, if it had any chance at all, it would get out of his way. Sure. And he w it would have to be timed so that it would just, just catch it at that moment. Otherwise, you'll find it probably when he's going to the loo, because it'll have slithered out of, the, uh, uh, out of the place and out of his vision. But one snake less in that instance, do you think it could be justified? I think so. Is there any other way that we can expose ourselves to animals in such a way as to learn? Yes, I've learned a tremendous amount from a social, sociological point of view um, how to behave when you are mixed with people that you don't know. So, sociologically, how does the study of strays help you, say, when you're presenting yourself at a film premiere? Well, I think I've learned never to be aggressive, and I think that's really what it's taught me to do, much more than uh, against my instinct, against my nature, not to be so impulsive. So you would don the mind and indeed don the beard of a stray dog when you went into that situation? Uh, yes. And if you were donning the beard of a dog, it would be one that you knew well? Mm-hmm. Righto. Katie Ball, thank you very much for joining <laughs> us on this issue. Thank a you A lot for of asking. valuable points there, and your call has liberated a just dog. Ah, oh, I'm so glad. And it's nice to talk to you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'm Peter Hamill. Those were your calls on Animals and Justice. If you didn't get through this time, do join us again and contribute next time on Call 1 FM. Call 1 1 1 1 FM 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 FM